finally we have the Apple iPhone 13 Pro Max in-house. What's up Gadgeteers, my name is Hector and this is Gadget Beard and on this channel I unbox and review everyday tech gadgets and accessories for you. And in today's video we have the iPhone 13 Pro Max in Sierra Blue. This is this year's newest color. Last year was Pacific Blue, this year is Sierra Blue. And it almost looks like a little sky blue, more of a sky blue type of color here. So without further ado, this is the iPhone 13 Pro Max. This is their typical packaging this year. As we all know, the boxes are thin. iPhone branding there, iPhone branding on the side, Apple logo on top, Apple logo on the bottom. And on the back, you have all this mumbo jumbo with the pull tabs and in the front, a spark varnish picture of the phone. And this year they went with pull tabs they copied Google like I always like to mention pull tabs here bam no plastic on the phone no plastic on the phone let's go and remove that and voila nice right off the back my first impressions of the phone is it is a very nice phone looks very elegant actually and almost like it has like a grayish tint to it I am really liking this color I wish the stainless steel bands around the edge of the phone would have been matted. I think it would have just set this iPhone off. But let's go ahead and put that aside. Inside the box, we get a Type-C, the lightning cable. And we also get a SIM injection tool and a Apple sticker. One Apple sticker. One. One. No charging bricks, of course. Because we're eco-friendly now and we have too many charging bricks around. Uh, let's go ahead and place this so I can lay the phone on there. Um, take a look at the hardware here and voila, look at this beauty of a device. Of course, the notch is going to be a little bit smaller compared to last year's model. The earpiece has moved up. It is smaller, but a little deeper. It's what they are saying. The camera modules are all brand new camera modules. Uh, they look and they look pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, not too bad. Look at that. They look premium and expensive. This matte color, I this color has surprised me as well as like the pink one that I unboxed earlier this month. Look at that. And I do have a tempered glass screen protector there for the camera modules because I do not want to break those. So you have the sky Sierra blue here and the pink and look at the size difference. Voila, it is a big behemoth, behemoth when it comes down to the new iPhone 13 Pro Max. But if you like big screens, this is the phone for you. Let's go ahead and power this bad boy on. Quick spec rundown. You all know that this year we have 120 hertz display is what they're calling promotion obviously apple is advertising the best cameras in the game uh, for video and photography uh, i don't know about photography since the pixel 6 pro is gonna come out if you know what i'm saying but for video full show i give them that video uh, iphones do record some awesome videos with these camera modules. This is a 6.7 inch display, 12 megapixel main sensor, six gigs of RAM. I believe they say it has about 4,352 milliamp hour battery in here. Obviously it's gonna run iOS 15. It is running your Apple Bionic A15 chip. It's a five nanometer chip there. Um, you know Apple's chip and processors are super fast, dude. Let's take a look at this quad camera setup here. We have 12 megapixels for all three cameras for your wide telephoto and ultra ultra wide. And then I believe what they're calling is a LiDAR sensor, a actual camera as well. So the LiDAR sensor is considered a camera lens. I don't know why, but in the front, we do have a uh, 12 megapixel camera lens there with 
facial recognition and all that good stuff that Apple is known for. Video capabilities are amazing 4K at 24, 30, 60 and for 1080p you have 1080p at 30, 60, 120 and 240 which makes for great slow motion videos. 10-bit HDR, Dolby Vision HDR and Pro Res. Now, Pro Res will be available at, with a future update. It's not available right out the box, so don't expect to see it. So you can pick up the base model of the iPhone 13 Pro Max starting at 1100, and I believe that is a 128 gigabyte version there of storage. And you can pick it up all the way up to one terabyte of storage. Now, keep in mind that if you're going to shoot Pro Res video with your iPhone device it's probably going to require more storage and that one at the high end is going to run you the price of your mom your dad your brother your sister you know what I'm saying you're going to bag them up and send them ship them overseas and sell them now just plain it's going to run you $1600 so the cheapest model is 1100 up to the highest model which is $1600 good lord that's a lot of money but you are receiving a very premium device here apple has been the pinnacle of premium hardware and i believe it still stands there so if you want to pay sixteen hundred dollars for this then go ahead be my guest thanks for watching guys this was just a quick unboxing of the iphone 13 sierra blue pro max it just arrived this device was in so much demand that it arrived a couple weeks late so make sure you subscribe to the channel we're going to go ahead and do a setup video as i always and normally do for all devices we're going to transfer all the old stuff from my girl phone onto the her new sierra blue phone here the process should be seamlessly and flawless you shouldn't run into hiccups but just in case you do then we'll we'll see them here firsthand on the channel and we'll work through it but tons of case accessory views screen protectors now this is a very expensive device you want to protect it with cases screen protectors and all of that even insurance if you didn't get insurance you might want to consider picking it up just in case you accidentally drop it break it or it accidentally get lost or stolen whoever wants to sponsor this channel go ahead and hit me up i will plug your insurance down below just plain anyways again Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.